All right, guys. Checking out Tesla's new universal wall connector put in the order a couple of weeks ago. Finally received. Universal wall connector. Absolute game changer. Check out the little dock. Look at it. Tesla just released the patent earlier today on how how this stuff does. Look at the back. Look how thick that is. Everything's housed. Just the overall unit is way thicker. We'll do some measurements uh, on the comparison. But Marla, do, you, do we have a, a, the backing of another one we could put up against it? Yeah. See if we can uh, grab one. Yeah. Is that the mounting plate right here mm -hmm. from the back? Okay, look at that. So, wow. What is this? I it's never, for the bus bar. I never saw that before. So it's the same thing that's on the other wall connector, okay, but it's yeah, just yeah, much yeah, further sorry. in because it's thicker. So that's same right. idea. That's okay. why the back plates are different. So the same terminals, you can go from the bottom or the top. I wonder when they'll just convert just one back plate for, for all of them, either one, you know? Pretty cool. Your communication ports. Yeah, man, look at that. Look how long this is. That bus is, <laughs> what, about four inches? Uh, that's pretty intense. It doesn't wait. I mean, it weighs a little bit, but that's because you have the mechanism in here, which is the latch for the, the magic dock. Mm -hmm. The J1772 magic dock. Is this it? No, it's it's inside. It's inside. This is a, a protective covering. Definitely inside. Pretty cool. Is that it? And then, of course, you have your, your cable underneath, mm -hmm. right? But pretty simple. Pretty simple design. Look at the gasket. Mm -hmm. right. right off the bat, what are you thinking? It's good. I like I think, it. Uh, I think height-wise and... Oh, look but at But it's that. definitely, definitely you're right about the housing. <laughs> look at that. That's impressive. It's interesting, the RS-485 board, you can see it's just a plus and minus here, yeah. but then they added the 12 volt on the ground here. Which is kind of curious. Wonder what that's going to be for. Look at that. Look at the difference. Still has the temperature sensor here. That one's a little more recessed. And it's the, I believe that's for the ground. Yep. Look at that. It has a different type of seal. You can see the seal gasket here versus this one. I know. This one looks better on the Universal. Yeah, definitely more, more condensed. Definitely flatter right here. This one just gives it the ability to kind of flatten out as it as you close it. Probably a little more airtight. Do we know if it's NEMA 4 or still NEMA 3R? Or what do we have on our NEMA reading? I haven't seen anything. I haven't looked. Yeah, pretty cool. Dude. Even the box is bigger. Yeah, the box is yeah, definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. When you store, you know, a couple hundred of these, definitely have to make up, uh, you have to consider the other one was able to fit, you know, 20 or so on a rack. Now you may be only able to fit like 15 that's on a rack, so. Does this strap go to maybe? That's for wire management inside the box here. So when you come around, you can tie it to this The QR code is a little bit bigger on the side, uh, yeah. which definitely dig in. You know, it makes it a little bit easier for non-Teslas to access it, which is, which is still pretty cool. Still have the same serial numbers, model numbers, input, output, MAC addresses on the, on the side there. Intertech. So, yeah. Uh, what about cable? Is it the same size cable? It's just actually same. a thinner cable. Mm, looks the same to me. Yeah. That feels, the material feels different. Yeah, that, that feels more, more grainy. Yeah, it's just, it's more got a little more, it catches your finger more here. Hmm. It's more of a rubbery type of plastic rather than this, just smoother. Sliding. And that will do with dirt and everything else that as far as heights, gets on these things. Specs specs on the outside, I think, uh, in the front. Yeah, pretty, I mean, still definitely ideal. I think they went they went back, they went thicker to add the different components instead of wider or, or longer, which is... Now, the only thing you didn't, uh, oh. you didn't capture is... This is the connection oh, yeah, here on the other side. The between the two. I mean, there's, there's, there's the big difference, right? <laughs> Nothing. And there's the magic dock. 
Oh, you got a little tab right here. Pull. Look at that. Push the button. Nope. You can only you can only grab this if it's plugged in. So I wonder if it needs to be powered in order to do it. I think so. Yeah, in order to engage it because of the, the three pins there. Two powers right there. Yeah, look at that. Installation looks like it's the same. I didn't see anything on the top that's different. No, just the We'll, we'll have to see if if we can come from the back yeah. or if this only allows us to come, you know, from top down or yeah. bottom down. Still got the knockouts in the back. Okay, still got yeah. the knockouts in the back. Good. Yeah, it Good. shows it. Come out from the back. Can we go from the side? Um, no. It does not seem like we can go from the side. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know if we can go to the side with, with this bad boy, but... Have we ever? I don't think we ever. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. Sweet. Universal wall connector, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute game changer. Hmm. I mean, this is only going to be, of course, temporary until the whole world transitions over to, to NAX. Yeah. But overall, it's really exciting to see, you know, what we're able to do in the meantime. You know, you can still get people, uh, you know, going with Tesla and you have the J1772. The thing is, if Tesla would have came out with this, like, I don't know, five years ago, they would have really disrupted the the charging industry. But, you know, like we all know, some people just won't go with Tesla just because of the, the name and all of that good stuff, the drama behind it. But when you look at like absolute superior products, this is this is it. This is it. We do plan on selling and installing a lot more of these. Uh, not only for uh, multiple EV owners, um, but we're definitely going to be pushing this to non-Tesla EV owners as well. So pretty exciting. Good stuff. There you have it, folks. I'll see you next time. Cheers.